Hi everyone, welcome on this uh, session. Um, I am Maria Tussagna Biare uh, from L'Oréal Operation in Global Manufacturing uh, Department. I am leading filling and packing engineering activities for new line, um, for existing line also for line uh, for performance improvement and the digital solution implementation. So let me introduce my uh, company. The key figures, L'Oréal is leader in cosmetic market with over than 32 billion turnover, euro turnover. In the group, we are present in 150 countries, 88,000 employees we are, and we drive 39 different plants. Our portfolio of brands are divided, are uh, diverse, as you can see, from luxury brand to professional product and uh, cosmetic active uh, brand. Now I will share with you our approach of uh, for digital solution implementation. At the beginning of the um, of the project that uh, we name uh, uh, digital transformation, we uh, firstly frame uh, our program initiative to be sure that we will uh, achieve uh, all the activities. The first aim was focus on people. Uh, for us, they are key drivers for our project. The target was to use um, technical leverage that we have to tackle their daily pain point. So our operator, mechanics, manager, uh, give to us a list of uh, pain points that they face and their, uh, on their daily work. Saying that, um, our um, also um, target was to um, define a clear policy regarding cyber secu uh, security. When we say uh, data management, the first thing um, for our point of view is to uh, implement cyber security policy to be sure that everything will be under control. Um, the second thing was to implement 4.0 architecture. Um, this is, <coughs> sorry, this is uh, for uh, um, to implement uh, all the objectives uh, that we have and uh, to also clearly define the interconnection between uh, each level. That is to say from OT um, for OT level, uh, coming from the equipment, the sensor, and the team, uh, to aggregate that to our all from port of 4.0 platform in the operation uh, division in the operation department level. The aim also was to uh, collect the data from our consumer and to aggregate that through uh, digital uh, solution, digital tool uh, for our people. So as you can see, at the early stage, we defined OPCUA as a technology that we uh, will use in the OT, um, in the OT level, at the OT level. And also we define how through PACML, how we will manage data in the software at the software part. This architecture was clearly our backbone for data aggregation and application management. So saying that OPCUA allowed us um, to clearly define the game between uh, L'Oréal side and our ecosystem of supply. 
Um, this technology, uh, as, you, uh, as you know, allows uh, several things. And uh, for us, uh, the specification that we, uh, that we handle is uh, to define the requirement at the setup part, the, the settings as, as well, and also uh, to specify uh, access uh, server level for users, uh, etc. I'm not uh, going um, to uh, describe you how OPC UI work, but it was our uh, in the OT level our backbone that allowed us to standardize this OT, uh, this OT architecture uh, for our digital uh, solution. As you say, in L'Oreal, we have uh, at the line level, filling and packing line level, we have a different machine from different supplier and also different uh, hardware solution, PLC, HMI, uh, um, uh, stuff like that. So saying that, um, uh, this uh, OT architecture is based of uh, uh, our specification on data management and uh, we go through uh, edge controller that uh, uh, allowed us uh, to uh, manage their data to be sure that uh, all the uh, city, all the things that we aggregate to our 4.0 uh, cloud will be smart data. And um, at the third uh, time, we define our target solution for uh, operators and technicians to be sure that we will get the performance through digital solution. We have different uh, phases uh, on this uh, implementation that we uh, describe and uh, we follow during uh, pilot phases. Uh, for sure, we pass through uh, machine uh, data collection and uh, um, aggregation of the data to our L'Oreal cloud, for sure. And the M was, the target was to, to build a dashboard uh, for operators and technicians. Uh, I will come in detail later on. And also to build an analytics tool that uh, will help for a performance team. How we achieve that? And uh, I will share also the, the results uh, in this part. So um, we are really proud to share with you the fourth uh, application that we already deploy in L'Oreal operation uh, worldwide. First was um, a tool, a set of tools uh, called the Connected Line. Connected Line is uh, uh, the tools that allowed us to uh, use data from uh, machine equipment and uh, to display that uh, data, that information in real time for our operator and technician that help them to pilot the line uh, without uh, any uh, kind of stress and uh, all the visibility on each single different machine on the line. The second one that we uh, implement uh, was uh, Dashboard Light. Dashboard Light is uh, dedicated to uh, performance management and uh, the main goal is to give visibility to our performance people and uh, uh, work, um, our workshop uh, team uh, saying that uh, is, uh, the, they are the manager of uh, our different uh, workshop uh, in plant. Link to connected line, we have uh, a tool that we call uh, Chrono Analysis based on the, uh, 
mainly uh, microstrategies on uh, machine uh, management. This tool is uh, really uh, very powerful. I will uh, go uh, on this uh, part later on, but is uh, how we get, uh, we give visibility to our people on the all the strategies that could happen during uh, the the production uh, the production phases. So track and trace is uh, also um, a tool that we uh, dedicate to uh, quality uh, process uh, management on the cleaning and packing line. This is to say our activity on digital solution, the two last year was very uh, strong uh, to focus and focus on the, our um, people and link to uh, the machine uh, data management and uh, collection. So let me deep drive on uh, the, the, the first main uh, tool. This is uh, our dashboard uh, that you uh, that we implement uh, on uh, filling and packing lines. Um, this the main this is the main view of uh, uh, this dashboard um, with uh, all the information coming from our IT system and also uh, coming from uh, machine uh, data. Uh, you um, have in yellow the information uh, of uh, as an alert that can help operator to to perform uh, the the job on the line uh, at this stage. So cartoon accumulation low level that help to um, that help operator to uh, bring all the goodies on this um, <clears throat> on the line to avoid any uh, stoppages. Um, the second thing so that we um, deliver is uh, uh, all the messages that link to a default. When the message is in red, that means that the machine is really stopped and the operator have to solve the issue uh, very, very quickly. The red bar and the green bar that you see be, uh, below is uh, the performance of, the, of our people hour per hour, depending the, uh, the line, on the line and the target of production they have. So, the second tool that I'm going to talk about is uh, chronoanalysis application. Chronoanalysis application is linked to um, all the micro stoppages. In L'Oreal, micro stoppages is uh, a stop that could happen that uh, could happen during the the shift, the production shift, from three seconds to to five minutes. We collect all this information. Uh, on our cloud um, and this dashboard, this uh, view is uh, um, uh, give the information on all machine status during the um, during the production. Um, you 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 can see uh, in the middle um, roughly how our machine perform during uh, the, the the production from the filler machine uh, to the palletizer. And uh, the important thing as well is we can, uh, we can get this information um, from the duration part uh, to the number of uh, uh, stoppages that we collect. That uh, give to the, uh, to the plant team, to the performance team as well, um, the main focus that they will have to implement to bring performance in this line that will uh, stop of them to uh, uh, daily use this application whatever it will um, in the workshop 
or in their uh, in their office. So I'm going to um, share with you uh, the connected line benefits. Their benefits are uh, very uh, diverse. Uh, with connected line, the set of tools of uh, um, real-time dashboard and Corona analysis, uh, we know that we uh, reduce, we will reduce uh, Microsoft edges and speed losses online definitely and uh, we also uh, increase uh, our um, OEE on this uh, on uh, the line where these uh, tools are already implemented and also we are uh, let's say uh, we know uh, that by testimony we reduce the workload of our operator on the line they uh, they confirm that um, during uh, their tools past year. We share also uh, data from uh, any devices uh, from the line. That is the power of uh, the 4.0. And thanks to our um, architecture that we implement, we can escalate very uh, highly, very quickly, uh, this solution uh, around uh, the the L'Oreal plant worldwide. So coming to the track and trace uh, for quality, um, um, this, um, these tools is linked to the process of um, our different line. And this is uh, the first pilot the result of the first pilot that we uh, perform in lipstick line our aim was to collect uh, all the all the data all the um, let's say uh, modification that could happen in a lipstick process during the, the production that uh, help the the quality team to identify quickly and uh, with um, all the elements that uh, they need to fix uh, this, uh, uh, let's say, uh, variability that could happen on the, on the process uh, during the production. In the, first, uh, in the first part of the screen, you have the historization of uh, this uh, process uh, uh, key uh, data. I uh, think that uh, could be the temperature, could be the level of feeling, um, etc. And we use uh, audit trail to classify this uh, data, uh, that information, uh, to be sure that uh, the process, um, the process of people uh, could have uh, uh, all the elements in order to uh, be sure that the quality of uh, the, uh, our product will be at the level uh, that we that we require. On this uh, application, we drive uh, last year our first pilot, and uh, we are uh, on going um, on this uh, second phases to implement that on our different plant. So, saying that. We um, come to uh, our rollout uh, uh, activity that we uh, already perform. Uh, we are proud to uh, share with you that uh, thanks to our backbone architecture on the OIT level with OPC UR and uh, PACML that we defined uh, through specification, we already implement uh, over than uh, 4,030 different uh, connected line, um, connected machine, uh, sorry, worldwide. Uh, that is uh, to say that uh, we are on a high uh, activity on this uh, 4.0 um, connected line uh, um, path. That brings for, for sure um, advantages 
and um, good result, I can say. The first is that we uh, identify huge uh, uh, team workload reduction on our um, different plants. And also the, the, the very good news uh, that we unexpected on this, uh, on this project is we increase our OEE target from 2 to uh, 10 percent depend, depending of the complexity uh, of the line uh, uh, that we have uh, uh, in our plant. Really, uh, we are very, uh, um, uh, let's say, uh, motivated uh, to uh, implement this suit on all L'Oreal uh, filling and packing line uh, when needed. And for sure, for the new line that we would like to implement, uh, this connected line uh, tool uh, is uh, nowadays mandatory on our plant. Coming to uh, different uh, features that we have, we are really, uh, um, let's say, uh, again, motivated to um, give uh, features on this, uh, this uh, 4.0 tool uh, on the uh, thing and packing line. Our aim uh, will be to uh, uh, define uh, as, uh, five tools, uh, let's say, on track and trace uh, uh, domain uh, linked to uh, IGEN activity. Uh, for sure, our in our um, line uh, fillers need uh, to um, get data uh, from uh, uh, for the IGEN um, team linked to CIP and SIP. And the second tool uh, we link to the environmental uh, our environmental target uh, that we need to collect. Uh, all the data uh, from machine and uh, to um, aggregate them uh, on the tools for energy consumption monitoring. Uh, clearly, uh, the target will be to uh, reduce uh, the consumption of um, electricity, uh, compressed air, um, etc., in uh, in machines. And uh, the, the third one is uh, how we um, connect machine data and uh, manufacturing execution system data to be able uh, to uh, uh, be more powerful on, uh, on uh, data management on thing and packing line. That is a very ambitious program, uh, but uh, uh, with our uh, result on the first uh, application and the tools uh, we implement uh, that give us uh, the opportunity to go further. So my last um, um, slide will be uh, to uh, share with you our retinal experiences and uh, our next step that we would like uh, to have uh, on digital solutions. Um, we learn a lot, uh, for sure. We learn a lot on this uh, on the digital solution uh, implementation um, keywords. Let's say uh, that I uh, would like uh, to raise up here is. Uh, the standardization of uh, OT architecture uh, um, help um, us a lot uh, to be uh, very scalable and to uh, be uh, faster on the tools implementation, digital tool implementation. And uh, I can say also, I can testimony also that the OPCUR um, that uh, specification that uh, we um, address uh, to our main partners um, help on the rollout phases uh, to reduce the complexity 
on the this um, on this area. Um, for sure, Pacamel uh, uh, is a nice contributor on this uh, smart uh, data uh, aggregation. And um, yes, uh, our ecosystem of machine supplier um, are um, they are very uh, involved uh, with us on this um, on this uh, implementation and uh, for sure. They uh, give us the, the, the opportunity to have um, to get data from uh, from their machine with the collaboration of um, of course uh, L'Oréal team. As well, that um, I say uh, as an introduction, the cybersecurity policy that we implement uh, in the early phases uh, on this digital transformation program was very helpful. Um, as a next step, um, I can say that uh, we will follow uh, our journey with uh, OPCUIA uh, technology. Um, our aim will be to explore uh, the, the, the path of uh, we uh, not already um, use is the component specification, uh, is the component specification path. Um, uh, we will uh, try with my team um, to focus on existing uh, component specification that uh, already uh, uh, set up, that the foundation already set up, but we uh, are open to develop new component specification according uh, our need. And uh, also, the, the last thing that we would like to implement this year is uh, uh, a secure remote access uh, solution to uh, be sure that uh, we will uh, make the, uh, the things in a proper way, the connection in a proper way with our, our partner. Thank you for your attention and uh, I remain in your proposal to uh, answer your question if you have uh, if you have so.